my name is Christine and I'm the Senior Talent Acquisition Specialist for Maud McKinley in Sydney and Singapore. And I'm joined today by James Sherwood who has joined the Sydney team this week. He's moved across from the London office. Um, James, do you want to give us a bit of a background to yourself? Yeah, sure. So um, I've been with Morgan McKinley now for a little over two and a half years. Um, my background, I've been working in recruitment now for about five years. So um, I uh, had a couple of years recruitment experience prior to, to joining Morgan McKinley. Um, very much within the contract space and since joining Morgan McKinley I've uh, been promoted to senior consultant and, uh, and, and made, the, uh, made the option and made the decision to move over to Sydney. So obviously you just moved from London to Sydney, um, so what is it that made you want to make the move in the first place and how did you find the whole process of relocating? So yeah, it's been it's been a pretty seamless um, it's been a pretty seamless procedure. Um, I've always wanted to, to to travel. I've always wanted to go abroad. Um, I've lived in Paris for a year before, um, which I absolutely loved. I did it for um, did it for a little over a year actually. While I was at university, so I've always wanted I've always wanted to, to work in a foreign country. And I remember um, I remember absolutely loving Paris. And uh, I've always wanted to come to Sydney. A lot of my friends live in Sydney. Um, so you know Morgan McKinley, you know they actively promote that when you actually you know when you actually reach sort of senior consultant, um, you know they they they're an advocate for you actually moving over and uh, and, and joining the office over here. So um, you know I dive straight in. Week two in Sydney. I think the most important question everyone back home would want to know: Have you seen any deadly spiders? Any snakes? Anything scary in your? No, uh, good question. No, no, I, I haven't actually. I mean, I, I plan to go to Toronto Zoo. Um, but in the living environment, no, not at all. I mean, I've, uh, I've managed to secure an apartment, and then generally, you know, yeah, generally no, no spiders or anything, or no creepy crawlies. No deadly encounters so far. No, not yet. <laughs> so James is here to help launch the specialist IT division for Morgan McKinley in Sydney. Um, James, can you tell us a bit more about what your role will involve? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, currently, we've got quite an established analytics function um, within Morgan McKinley Sydney, and there's a there's a niche and there's a gap in the market to expand into other areas within IT. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to come to do is, is to help build out the IT function. Um, there's lots of areas within the business that we can you know that we can expand, such as sort of development and sort of BI and um, you know other areas within IT. So it's going to be my my role to really help drive that and uh, and, and and put IT on the map. So what tips would you give someone who is overseas and potentially considering a move to Sydney? Um, I would say I'd say look, don't don't rush into the decision. Um, I you know I spent quite a lot of time you know thinking about moving over here. It's not something you want to you know emigrating to a new country is not something you want to rush into. So I'd say you know think about it before you know before actually actioning it. But then um, you know do your research. Um, you know, for me, Sydney was a you know it was a natural, um, you know, great place to, to move to just because there's so many similarities within within culture. So, although I did look, I looked at Hong Kong, I looked at Singapore, and I looked at Sydney. But um, for me, given that I know quite a lot of people that are living over here, and you know, there's you know there's great opportunity to work within the, the IT division. Um, I would say, yeah, I'd say you know, definitely do your research. Um, Morgan McKinney have been really, really great in terms of supporting me. They've, um, you know, I've had regular contact with you. I've also been, you know, been speaking to the senior directors as well. So they've been instrumental in, in, in helping me move over here. And um, to be honest with you, it's been a fairly, fairly seamless process. So it's officially your second week in Sydney now. Um, has it lived up to your expectations so far? And have you got any must sees or must do's on your list for the next few months? Um, yes, it has lived up to my, my expectations. It's actually my first time to Sydney, so I've actually never been here before. Um, but kindly, my uh, my colleagues in uh, in London they paid um, for me to actually climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh, really? So not managed to do that yet, but I definitely plan to do that. So that's definitely on the bucket list. Um, I've been to Manly. I've done a, I've done the Spit to Manly walk, which was amazing. Um, and been surfing, picked up a surfboard and uh, and, and given that a go. It was no good. Couldn't stand up. But um, but yeah, there's there's loads of things to do in Sydney. You know. You know, there's, there's ferries over to Manly. You know, there's the Sydney Opera House. There's the, uh, you know, climbing the bridge as well, which is going to be amazing. Um, and yeah, I get Tonga Zoo as well. You know, get, get with Mother Nature yeah. as well. I want to, uh, want to experience. Haven't even seen a kangaroo yet, so um, so it's definitely. Get to the zoo definitely, you'll see a few there. Definitely. What's the weather's a bit better? Oh yeah, obviously. I think I brought the British weather with me. You know, my first week in Sydney, and it's been pouring down with rain. But um, there's been spells of sunshine, so it's, uh, yeah, so it's all good. I'm sure the weather will pick up. Yeah, days at the beach. Exactly, yeah, looking forward to that. 
Well, thank you, James, for answering our questions. I wish you the best of luck in Sydney. Um, some of the team wanted to give you a nice, warm Australian welcome with their Sydney essential items. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in working with this glamorous bunch, um, please feel free to get in touch with me on the contact details to follow. <laughs>